I'm learning how to style shorter hair. This morning I'm gonna take a few steps from that curly girl method and just see if I can get any curl out of it at all because I've cut most of my curls out. I thought I would just kind of do my first ever styling showering of my with my new hair with you guys. Good morning, beautiful human beings. It is New Year's Eve and I just woke up. I took Skylar to the airport a few hours ago and then I came home and went back to bed because I am not a morning person at all. So um, the sun is shining, I'm super excited. Today I'm going to film a Q&A plus just run through my first ever really styling of my new haircut. Um, it's getting so bright in here, whoa. Okay, fix the lighting. I thought I would just kind of do my first ever styling, showering of my with my new hair with you guys and see how it turns out. I actually haven't straightened it yet or anything. This is kind of how it looks when I just, I showered and didn't do anything to it. This morning I'm gonna take a few steps from that curly girl method that you know I've talked about so much and just see if I can get any curl out of it at all because I've cut most of my curls out. And so it's kind of sad. And I'm also gonna have some coffee. So I'm learning how to style shorter hair. Um, I've come up with a few different styles so far for the gym that have been working for me. If you want me to do a video about that, just comment below and let me know. And right now I'm gonna go have coffee, shower, do my hair. Oh my gosh, the best thing of all time just happened. I was almost about to get in the shower and I found Skylar's cold coffee they made for themselves this morning. They always only drink half of their coffee. <sighs> Thanks, babe. So I put the microfiber towel on. You can also just use a t-shirt for this step. There's like no hair left in this towel, which is kind of amazing. I used to have to like shove it all in, pile it on top of my head. Also, my showers take like five minutes. It's amazing. So now I'm going to get dressed, make coffee, maybe put some makeup on and then diffuse for a little bit. And then I'll show you guys how it turns out. Is there any worse feeling than when you make yourself a cup of coffee and realize you don't have any creamer left? So apparently Skylar's cold coffee from this morning used up the rest of our creamer. Usually we have like an almond milk based creamer. I just had to put oat milk in my coffee. Of course I filled it way too high. Mm -mm. It's just not the same, it's not the same. We gotta drink it. What else am I gonna do? Not have coffee at all? No. Nope. That's terrible. I'll keep, I'll keep drinking it though. Okay, and secondly, you might notice my hair looks a little whack, but I did put those little clips in because I'm actually getting quite a bit of curl. I'm kind of shocked. I put a little bit of the Diva Curl Mousse in my hair when I was in the shower. I also like conditioned and shampooed it, all that jazz. And I scrunched it, put the stuff in, so. We're just gonna see, it's all kind of pinned up right now. This is not the final look. I thought I would let it air dry a bit and answer a few questions from the Q&A that I posted to my Instagram yesterday. Um, so I'll just go in order of what how the questions were sent to me. Numero uno. If you could choose skydiving or cliff jumping, which one would you choose? I don't like heights. Like my palms start sweating when I actually think of doing either of those things. Um, I'm getting like, I'm starting to get blotchy, sweating. Cliff jumping terrifies me because jumping into like dark waters, not knowing how deep the water is, that's horrifying. And then skydiving, parachute, could break, you smash into the ground and die. So I think I'm just gonna go with cliff jumping because I feel like it's a lesser amount of time that you'd be in the air before you hit the water. Whereas skydiving, you have to contemplate your death for many, many, many minutes. So 
I used to play roller derby, so I do get a lot of questions about roller derby, and this one being, would I ever return to roller derby? And I do have a um, video about my retirement from roller derby posted to a different YouTube channel that I have with my best friend. I, I know for 100 million percent I will not return to roller derby. I experienced a pretty severe injury. That's why I retired from skating. Um, as an athlete, you know, sometimes you get those injuries that just take you out of the game and unfortunately that's what happens. So, no, I will not be returning to roller derby. Another question, as a woman, did it take you a lot of time to see definition in your arms? The short answer is, it does take time to get definition anywhere in your body. Definition means that you have built muscle underneath your skin tissue, but you've also lost the body fat surrounding that muscle tissue so that you can see the muscle that's what gives you that def defined look because a lot of people can have a lot of muscle but they per perhaps due to diet genetics and whatever their physical activity is they may not have a lot of definition so um, for me I just carry a lot less body fat in my upper body and so the definition in my arms has come more easy I feel than for other women in my shoulders and my arms but I do struggle to get definition in my glutes my hamstrings my quads lower ab abdomen lower stomach all that stuff which is very similar for a lot of women but it just really depends on how you carry body fat what your diet is and all that but um, we can go into a whole other video about fitness related things comment your questions below I'd be happy to do a Q&A that's more specific to fitness another roller derby question did you feel a void when you retired from roller roller derby did it go away with time so i think any of us who've played sports throughout our, our young adulthood especially competitively and then maybe you have to stop because of finances or an injury or um, unforeseen circumstances uh, i retired because I, I experienced a head injury and the risk wasn't worth um, playing the sport anymore it wasn't a professional I wasn't playing at a professional level so I wasn't getting paid or anything like that so I was just risking my health at that point so there definitely was a huge void because I'm a very competitive person that's how I could define my success in life was by what I was doing in that sport it also gave me a lot of goals and motivation for a lot of other things so when that was all taken away kind of abruptly it definitely left a void but you will find other things we are very interesting unique human beings we are a lot of sides to us so when one door closes another one does open one chapter ends, another one begins all that stuff it's really true so just you know take your time feel the, the grief or whatever but also start trying a bunch of new things because you're gonna discover something new that you're good at outside of what you used to do do your eyebrows look like that with no work so these are my eyebrows this is what my mom and dad blessed me with genetically um, however I also could full on still grow a unibrow and I wish I had photos, I probably could dig them up of me at age like 9 to 12. I did have a full unibrow, probably since I was born until I was 12 I had a unibrow and one day my mom plucked it for me and that was the beginning of me having to pluck my unibrow for the rest of my life. I'm still plucking here um, and it grow, it's just full on Bert looking, you no know, Bert Ernie. Burt style brow happening there. This next question says, I know you have anxiety issues and are more introverted. How did you get so fierce? Well, I am very introverted and I do have anxiety and that can also be another video. One of the biggest things that I found is just accepting that you have anxiety, not fighting it. And also my introverted tendencies. I used to force myself to go out a lot more and socialize, but I also found that in doing that, I would want to drink a lot more and I was feeling a lot of stress and maybe really uncomfortable and and I would I'd get so nervous before social engagements and, you know, and even have drinks at home before I went out just to kind of like numb it a bit. And I realized that that's just not healthy and it's not productive. And I do really enjoy just staying at home, usually by myself or with a couple of friends, sometimes with Skylar. Alone time for me is so important, so I make sure that I, I give myself that. If my weekend is full of social stuff, um, I end up having like usually some kind of breakdown at some point because I can't handle always having to be on. I don't think that I'm necessarily fierce, but I do think that I've really owned who I am in the last couple of years, if that makes sense. So I think when you just 
are comfortable with who you are and I'm comfortable being an introvert. I'm comfortable being someone that's not, you know, always doing all these amazing things. Like I'm okay to be that guy that stays home. Um, I think that that comes across as confidence and, you know, being secure with yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna go take this out, change, maybe put this makeup on and then I'll be back and we'll finish this Q&A. Oh, I'm so upset. Okay, clips are out. I've been put on a festive shirt because it's New Year's Eve. This is how much curl I was able to get out of my hair following the same methods I did in my very first curly girl method video. So it still works guys, even on short hair. Way more curl than I had thought that I would get. So I'm pretty excited about that. Back to the, the Q&A. Next question is, let's just dive right in. The next question is, when did you know without a doubt you were a lesbian? Well, I don't, first off, I don't really, um, I don't like labels ever for anything, but I understand sometimes we need to have them to kind of understand each other. I personally do not identify as a lesbian um, at this stage of my life. I never really have. I just consider myself someone who loves humans and you know and I've fallen in love with people of different genders who identify as different genders and that's just what it is so um, I do identify as being a queer woman who obviously in very various chapters of my life things have changed and taken unexpected turns that I did not see coming so who knows where, where life will lead me down the road and how I will feel comfortable identifying in the future. Next question is what is my biggest fear? And I would say the biggest fear that I have, that I have had my whole life is not living up to the potential of what I know I could be or do. Whether that means just, you know, um, for the longest time I wanted to be a teacher, now I'm doing fitness coaching. I think that in if any way in your life, if you're making a difference and you're impacting other people's lives, like that's so important. So my biggest fear, ever is just not, you know, rising to the challenges and always pushing myself to see what more I could do, um, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm also terrified of heights, as you have heard earlier, and um, I also have a bit of a fear of the dark. I really love the dark for sleeping, but only if there's other people near me, like for example, Skylar, but when I'm home alone and I wake up in the middle of the night, you know, I have, I'm a little scared. How do you stay motivated at the gym? Um, I made a whole video about that too a while ago. I think everything that I said in that video still sticks today. I'm not always motivated to work out. I'm not always like, I can't wait to get to the gym. I'm itching to like sweat, all that sort of thing. Sometimes I am, but a lot of times I'm not and it's easy to fall off the wig and you have to kind of more create it to be a habit rather than something that you always want to do. We can go into that in another video. I've already made one about it, so you can check that out. I will link it above. Did you grow up religious or spiritual and are you practicing any spirituality now? No, I did not grow up with any kind of religion. I do believe in there's good and there's, there's not so good, there's evil. And um, right now in my life, I'm just practicing trying to connect with myself and as, as well with other human beings. And um, I'm really interested in starting to practice some meditation. So yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm not very religious, I don't know. And last question, what are my goals for 2019? I just have a lot of goals. It's, it's a, that's a big one to ask because I have fitness goals, I have health goals, I have like mental health goals, I have career goals. Um, I guess for um, the, for physical fitness goals, which maybe most people are interested in, um, I'm still doing CrossFit. My goal is to you know, perform some of the movements in CrossFit that are really challenging, like a muscle up, kipping pull ups, all those kinds of things. If you're in CrossFit, you know what I'm talking about. I just feel like personally, one of my bigger goals is to really share a lot of my own personal journey with others because I do feel like I've been through a lot of things and learned a lot of things and I can, and connecting with other people. I just really enjoy making these videos. I really enjoy the conversations that come out of them, especially with you guys. 
and also a lot of the self-reflection that happens when I'm making them. I just have so much fun. It's become such a creative outlet for me and I really enjoy it. So I wanna make more videos. I wanna connect more with others. And I would say one of my current goals that's kind of like bubbling over into 2019 is I'm really trying to shift to a plant-based diet. I've greatly reduced the amount of meat that I eat now to hardly any at all but just really learning how to be a better cook, how to be a little more resourceful to get the proper proteins to eventually become fully vegan and be uh, like a vegan bodybuilder would be awesome. So that is one of my personal goals, I guess, for 2019 that I've kind of started already a little bit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, let me know what you think of the short hair version of the Curly Girl Method that I've done today. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or things you want me to make videos of in the future, comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, then you get all the updates when I post new stuff, because I'm not necessarily doing it on a regular basis. It's a little sporadic, but I'm trying to do a video once a week. Have an amazing 2019. Can't wait to see what the next year will bring. And just everyone, I hope it has a safe, happy, near the transition to the new year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm just gonna try this one more time. Oh, it's just not the same. <laughs>